Alright, after painting with Liquitex spray paint for a little while, I now have like my uh, kind of full on opinions about how the paint works and, you know, its pros and cons basically. So, to start off, the Liquitex paint is a water based paint. It comes in about 100 colors and uh, it has some kind of different options that most spray paint brands don't have. Um, that being said, uh, you'll see later in the video the gold's actually a lot more. Uh, glitter based so there's a lot more uh, shiny pieces in it I guess and that um, the top blue in the three color fill is actually called Salo Cyan blue and uh, that's basically a light blue that allows you to mix in and get tones that uh, wouldn't actually be able to be achieved without um, kind of layering up uh, different colors it actually adds like a shadow fade it's if you can see on the color donut, it's actually like a clear color donut, kind of like a pearlescent. And it allows you to kind of mix them as if they're like straight up acrylic paints that you would actually paint with. Now I'm not too familiar with painting um, in these kind of scenarios with like a brush per se. But uh, that being said, I kind of read up on it and basically it allows you to get some medium tones that wouldn't be able to be achieved exactly otherwise. So these kind of paints aren't generally going to be what I would look for. But that being said, the oranges, the pink, and the bottom blue that I used, all of those worked great. Um, the opacity was there. I was a little nervous about that. Some people had been given me some initial feedback about how they liked the paint, and they said the opacity was a little tough. But that being said, I really liked the opacity. It worked well um, in the scenario. I can't say enough about it. I was nervous, but they definitely held up in the standard colors. Um, that being said, they do have a lot of like fluorescence as well. Uh, the orange is actually fl fluorescent. So the opacity on those is going to be a little bit less, but that comes with every fluorescent, and I didn't have any problem with using the orange. Um, I do have to say, I'll do some kind of close-ups here. Um, the paint took a little while uh, to dry. It was a little bit slower, and I kind of have to attest that to it being based on water. Um, you know, paint markers, they do take a little uh, longer to dry, and those are kind of what I've been uh, using in water-based paints uh, more frequently. So that's kind of what I'm fam familiarizing it with. Um, that being said, you just have to slow down. Um, I was working pretty fast, and not to mention it was extremely humid out. Uh, in New England, the humidity gets crazy. Um, I forgot to check the percentile of uh, how much humidity, but I'd say it's at least 70 to 80% that day. So that definitely didn't help. But that being said, if you work a little bit slower or you have a bigger area, I was just doing one letter, so obviously I was able to get to different portions of the letter uh, faster than I would normally. It allowed for them to dry in time, that kind of thing. And uh, overall, I have to give the paint probably about a 7 out of 10. Um, 7 because I one would like to see them dry a little bit faster, even though I was getting to it quickly. I would like to see that I get to it as quick as I want and they're ready to go basically. Um, but the that's kind of the biggest drawback other than that the opacity is pretty much there um, the price points a little high so that's another kind of detractor for me but that being said if you have like a coupon or something you can get them a little bit cheaper and uh, you know from different websites you can always kind of find specials running and stuff so um, that's pretty much it from them I've got uh, a cap test and some other color swatch tests to compare the um, 50 colors that they offer in spray paint and uh, paint marker and see how they kind of coincide to one another and see how those kind of work together and if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments down below um, if you've used the paint tell me how you think it works um, I haven't used it outside of this test I left the left side white and the right side um, a little bit more bulked up with other colors to show you the opacity and I felt that kind of did a good job and showed the true colors there I do want to say I did not have a black so I used the Montana white line black that's a pretty generic black nothing too special there so th I hope that didn't interfere with anything it stayed true to what um, I had been seeing otherwise so that's really going to do it for me comment rate subscribe peace